Hello, Leo. Rambler Mike here. Going to play some tarot cards today with you. Thank you for tuning in one more time, my friends. I uh, definitely appreciate all your likes and all your subscribes. I uh, thank you for all of your donations, my friends. And also all my Leo friends that reached out for private readings with me. Thank you for all of that. You guys are amazing. If you would like to bless me with a donation or if you would like to contact me about a private reading, all that information is down below in the description area. These readings will be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of January. Mid-month as we go into February 2019. These readings will be for love and relationships, relationships of all kinds, homework, family. I myself, you know it, I focus on love because I love to read for love. We all know there's no possible way this can be for every Leo on the planet, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So, if these resonate with you, my friends, run with it and have fun with it. And if they don't, have fun throwing this reading out. Mm -hmm. Let's just have fun. All my cross watchers, you know you're welcome here. Huh? Yeah, I love you guys. I want to remind you that even though I'll be saying Leo a lot, these could very well play out from your perspective and probably will. Let's use our intuition, our psychic abilities, and all that fun stuff while we play with tarot here. Huh? Let's have fun. Leo, been chopping your cards for a while here. Let's go with this right here, my friends. Let's tune in. Hey, Terry, love team. Leo's here to play with us. Let's tell them what they need to know most for their highest good. I want to thank you for clarity, accuracy on my part. Help me see. Help me speak what I need. Help Leo see and hear what they need out of this reading today. Let's take all these amazing pictures and put together a nice, clear, accurate story for Leo's highest good. Thank you so very much for that, love team. I appreciate it. I can't do this without you, my guides. Here we go, Leo, cutting the deck. Leo, first card out here is Five of Swords, right in the middle of your spread. Woo, Lord have mercy. Not my favorite card. It is a card about doing what's best for you, huh, Leo? Healthy selfishness, right here in the middle of the spread. Healthy selfishness. This is a story of this young prince that laid in wait for these guys in the back of the card. He had his armor on. He was prepared for the battle. And he came in and he stole all their swords from them. And he's got that little pompous look on his face like, Huh? You get what you get. Mm-hmm. You know, in life and in love. Wow, with this coming out right here, you know, love's supposed to be easy. It's supposed to be like breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in. And this is definitely somebody that ain't been playing right, huh, Leo? Hmm. Somebody ain't been playing right, right here. And this is Leo. In my opinion, this is your spread. Standing up and doing what's best for you, Leo. <sighs> Not going to play that game no more. You know, hey, in life, if I'm going to be up in the front of the card or the back of the card... I choose to be up in the front of the card myself. I don't need the swords because I attempt to walk in love. But that don't mean you're going to come in here and wipe your feet all up on me like a piece of milk toast. That ain't happening. And uh, this is a card for me about, you know, just telling somebody, time out. Time out. You're fired. Sit down over there. You don't know how to play with me right. Yeah, you don't know how to come in here and love me, right? Let's see where this goes. This is all about Leo doing what's best for them. Healthy selfishness. It's right there. It's beautiful. Seven of Wands. Whoa. Or the Knight of Wands. This is the great adventurer right here. And uh, many of my Leo friends could have been playing with somebody that had a player energy. No doubt about that. This is my little player. Um... Also, I mean, this is the great adventurer here. This can talk about relocation of residency or new jobs coming in here for you. Something's been going on in Leo's world. They're not putting up with it. Uh, Leo may be getting on their pony right here and skedaddling out of the picture. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah, yeah very much so. 
base of the spread is the Knight of Pentacles. That is absolutely a very slow-moving offer. Yeah. Leo, Leo ain't got a whole lot of patience with no slow-moving stuff right here. Uh-huh. Is this a different energy right here, Leo? This uh, Knight of Pentacles? It's Earth energy. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. It's about a slow-moving energy right here. Slow-moving offer. It's in your distant past. That's why I said... This is present right now, right here, right now. Just Leo standing up and doing what's best for them. Not going to play this game no more. Probably many of you have been playing with a player. But also I feel that many of you may be packing your bags and, and pulling out and thinking about this slow-moving offer in the past. Definitely with Nine of Swords, a lot of my Leo friends have not been sleeping well at night. All of the swords, the thought process, the young lady sitting on the edge of the bed, ringing, a, ringing of the hands, and the wouldas, and the couldas, and the shouldas. Interesting, Leo. Yeah, let's see where this goes here. Five of cups. Definitely, definitely done with the situation. Definitely done. Many of my Leo friends with five of Five of Swords and Five of Cups. The Five always talks about change. Change for the better. Because these are cards of contrast. M most of the time, we do not know what we do want until we definitely know what we don't want. With nine, of sword, nine of Swords, Five of Swords, Five of Cups. Leo definitely know what they do not want anymore. Hmm. I still feel that this is a different energy right here than this. This is different. This is five of cups, you know. The old cup spiller running around there in Leo's life. Spilling cups, you know. <laughs> you know them. Spilling cups. And there are two cups right here behind this character. This is called the River of Tears. He's supposed to turn around and pick up those two cups. The two cups in the tarot always talk about the true love. It's too focused on these spilled cups, huh? Turn around here. Yeah, it's time to turn around, man. Change. It's time for change. Change. Many of my Leos know that. Change. See, I feel this is a different energy because this knight always gets what he wants. This, this is in the distant past right here. And look, the two cups are right there. Yeah, many of my Leos know, may, may know who I'm talking about when I'm pointing out these two cups and the slow-moving, steady, forward energy of this knight of pinnacles that's been in the distant past here. You know, he's supposed to pick up the two cups. Go over the bridge over troubled water on Leo. Back up to the high vibration castle right here. Yeah. That's where Leo's supposed to go. Let's see immediate future coming in here in the next two weeks. Wow. Got the Queen of Pentacles showing up here. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. Or just the catch. This is the catch to me, regardless of what zodiac they are. Yeah. Oh, it is. oh look, it's that pinnacle right there. Oh, I felt this the whole time this is different. Leo, who is this right here? I'm going to tell you, this is Queen of Pentacles. I mean, this is somebody amazing. This is the catch. It's the bomb. It's somebody grounded and balanced, stable in life. Huh? <laughs> they eat right. They try and take care of their body. Have that golden pair of spirituality in their hand right there. Oh, they live in a very magical world. They're fun, too. There's a little pan running around there in their little... Wonder Garden right here. It's Queen of Pentacles, male or female. Somebody, this is wifey, hubby. This is the catch, man. Sitting on that big coin right there. Somebody financially, they, this person has the Midas touch. They know how to manifest financial security and comfort. You know, it's got the little bunny rabbit, man. Who is this right here, Leo? I bet it's that Two of Cups right there. I bet it's this slow moving, 
situation that's been in the distant past with you while you've been dealing with all this other stuff. You, you, you'd be thinking about this person. You'd be thinking about this person for a while, huh? Nine of Swords right there. All the wooders, the cooters, the shooters. Instead, I'm playing with this cup spiller up here. Yeah, Five of Swords. The old player coming running in, running out. I'm, I'm definitely considering cutting and running myself and go to at least, yeah, Leo. This queen is going to be showing up in your life, whoever it is, whatever zodiac this is. This is the catch. This is the bomb. You know who they are. Yeah, you know who they are. There was something that went down in the distant past with this person right here. There it is right there. I love it for you, Leo. Boom, man. The world card showing up. It's a major arcana, major life force card. Talks about completion of old cycles. I'm so happy for you because this cycle right here needs to end. Five of Swords, deception, manipulation, control, possible narcissistic behavior, running around, spilling the cups. Oh, what's that about? Good night, Irene. And there's two cups behind you on all the wooders, the kudas, the shudas, trying to work on the situation, but definitely remembering these days right here. These are very prosperous, abundant. This, this is solid. And you're playing with somebody that's been flighty, and then boom, world card comes in. Cycle change for you, Leo. Yeah, completion of old cycles and a new cycle beginning for you. Has my golden angelic being seeing themselves slap up in the middle of their world, seeing their world as their oyster. And ooh la la, there's my pearl of great prize. Yeah, this is in the immediate future here. You know, we're talking end of, end of, there's processing stuff going on right here. End of the month, beginning of February. Who is this, Leo? Bam! Cycle change coming right behind that. Has all four fixed zodiacs on it. Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, all represented by the world card. This person may live at a little bit of a distance from you. This queen right there. there I love this for you. Oh, bam! Look at, look at Ten of Pentacles. This is absolutely a cycle. I'm, I'm going to try and be calm with you, Leo. This is beautiful. Beautiful, Leo. I see this shift, a major shift for my Leos. I'm so happy for you. Ten of Pentacles crossing over top of Five of Swords and the player. I, like I said, in the cycle change, you're getting rid of the, this old player energy. Uh, Five of Swords, definitely learn these soul lessons. Heading towards your Ten of Pentacles. Uh, this is what you want. You know what you want. Yeah, it's this Queen of Pentacles. Who is this? Who is this? Oh, Leo. Oh, Leo, let it go, Lord. I've been saying that for a year. Oh, Lord, mercy. Ten of Pentacles, quintessential universal dream, the little white picket fence, the big pink house, the loving couple, the wisdom of the years, babies, grandbabies, bliss running in the yard, doggies, loyalty, money in the bank. Wow. Wow, Leo, cycle change. Woo yep, I see it right here. In your hopes position, my princess of cups. I felt it the whole time I've been going through this spread right here, even though you've been thinking and thinking about this person right here, this queen, this queen of pentacles, the one that had the slow movement, stable, 10 of pentacles, thinking about that one. But with this card showing up here, my Princess of Cups in the hopes position, I'm hoping that there's going to be some sweet communication between us. See, I don't feel there's been any communication. And, you know, um, you, and people put it in my comments, so I reached out and nothing happened. But look, uh, this queen, it's all over the spread right here. Hoping for sweet communication between the two of you. Hoping for a fresh new beginning in the arena of love. Love showed up here, Leo. Leo, you got feelings for this person. Chances are they got feelings for you too, Leo. And, you know, be brave. Be brave, you know. You may be a little timid about the approach, huh? Been a while. I feel that. Uh, Leo got confidence, and this is beautiful. Outcome right here. I'm telling you, Six of Pentacles. It's a great card for the spread. Talks about reciprocity. Talks about equal give and take. 
hey, if there wasn't equal give and take in this situation, then this queen here is absolutely going to be expecting that. And you know that. All you got to do is just show up. Equal give and take. It's a beautiful card of reciprocity between these two people. I see you're going to... You're leaving something, Leo. There's no doubt in my mind about it. Something that's been very hard with all these fives and this queen right here. And you're hoping that we can have a new beginnings in the arena of love. This card can also talk about somebody having some kind of spiritual awakening in this situation. And this kind of contrast right here will absolutely cause an awakening. Bottom of the deck... I have the Princess of Wands. See, and this is off in the future right here. Princess of Wands talks about a passionate new beginning, something that you've wanted for a while. Hmm. Huh. Something that you've wanted for a while, a passionate new beginning, passionate communication. See, here it is right here. May not may may not play out until the end of the month, going into February right here, but you definitely have some deep feelings for this queen right here. That can be ten of pentacles, cycle change, this beauty, and here it is. Passionate new beginning coming in here. Something that you have wanted for a while. It's because um of the moon card may have been following somebody or something that was intriguing to you, but full of smoke and mirrors. And we are absolutely in the eclipse season at this particular point in time, eclipsing people and things in and out of our life very suddenly. We have during this time right here, an eclipse in Leo on the 20th. Ooh, you, you're probably just gonna clear the house right here, whatever this narcissistic bullshit's about right here, Leo. And just go for this queen right here. This is absolutely beautiful. And there's going to be reciprocity. That, see, there, over here with these fives, there's no reciprocity. There's no evil, equal give or take. Leo's probably been carrying the brunt of all this load, just trying to keep this relationship together to the best of their ability. And the other person just doing a whole hell of a lot of nothing. Or, uh, you know, this Ten of Pentacles is equal reciprocity. It's beautiful. And uh, I'm just saying that the moon card talks about the moon and the cycles of the moon. There is a... Uh, eclipse in Leo, the final one. I mean, the past 18 months were all full of those eclipses in Leo and Aquarius. So that was all about uh, your uh, yourself and your seventh house of committed relationships. We got one last one right here. This thing may have been playing out for a minute here. On both sides, on both sides, on both sides of this, Leo, huh? Seven of Wands, here we go. Here's Leo, fire energy. Here's Leo Sagittarius in the future. Coming off the bottom of my deck, Seven of Wands, this is uh, my hero's card. It's somebody who's choosing to do what's best for them. They're choosing the path that they're going to go down. They don't give a shit who likes it or who don't like it. You're going to have some people that are not going to like your decision about walking away from this freaking nightmare right here and heading towards your Queen of Pentacles. And that's none of their freaking business, huh? Yeah. Standing up doing what's best for you. You don't give a rat's tail. Who... Who likes it or who don't like it? But one thing's for sure, you're definitely not going to put up with five of swords and five of cups shit anymore. You're not doing it. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune wanted to come out after that, Leo, huh? It's an omen of good luck and good fortune coming in here for you. Definitely talks about the wheel. That old karmic wheel spinning round and round. Definitely looks like many of my Leo friends, 2018, they learned some, some karmic lessons, my friends, huh? Ain't nothing wrong with making a mistake as, as long as you've learned something from that mistake. It's when we didn't learn anything, you know. If you learned, you did good. Wheel of Fortune coming in here for you, huh, Leo? Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Who's this queen right here? Who's this queen, Leo? Pick up the phone and call them. I know you want to, right there. They want you to, too. Look, there's love here. I'm telling you, and reciprocity. It's beautiful. It's Ten of Pentacles. You know it is. You know it is. Here's your cycle change. Boom, right here. Here's your wheel of fortune. Bam, right there. Winner, winner, chicken dinner coming in here. Once again, all four fixed zodiacs are on this card. This is Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. Beautiful stuff right here, Leo. Woo! Lord have mercy, huh? Yeah, the hangman on the bottom of the deck while we're playing, uh, being stuck like Chuck at this particular point in time. 
but definitely getting a new perspective about what's going on around you. I hope Rambler Mike's Tarot helps you with that, Leo. Let's play with some of these uh, Romance Angel cards on top of this, please. Thank you, angels. Thank you, love angels. Let's throw out some cards here for Leo, please, on top of this amazing spread. Are they absolutely processing and making a decision to walk away? And man, who doesn't want to head towards that Queen of Pentacles and that Ten of Pentacles right there? Yeah, Six of Pentacles, Reciprocity. And look at all these Pentacles. I mean, I mean, there's money, man. There's money here, too. Yeah, it's a good life, man. Woo, take the good life, Leo. All right, love cards. Chemistry, look at that. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Bam. Bam. And equal give and take. Chemistry, a strong romantic attraction here, Leo. You know who this is right here. Religious factors, though, that's probably the challenge here. That's a card of extreme age differences, racial differences, cultural differences, spiritual differences, religious differences. Mm -hmm. All those social taboos that society has put on love, well, I'm here to tell you those are all coming down. Yep. You see them, you see all kinds of people, different ages, holding hands anymore, different uh, different uh, races, different religions. It's happening, man. Religious factors is probably this, this, the thing that kept this situation from manifesting. Yeah, see it. New, new, new envision here, man. It's beautiful. Chemistry and religious factors right here. More for Leo, please. Forgiving and learning. Mm-hmm. Yeah, pretty soulmate, twin flamey, life partner energy right here. With all these love cards that came out, the chemistry, the religious factors, and the forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. All kinds of forgiveness. You definitely need to forgive this person back here. You know, I'm just saying. It's for you. Mm hmm Clear that energy, and it opens up a brand new door for you, Leo, as we're going into the new year right here. Something that the universe definitely really wants to bless my Leos with. Forgiving and learning is absolutely involved in it. Oh, and two cards on forgiveness. We've got both of them right here. You know, healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive. One more, please. Lots of forgiveness here, Leo. I'm with you. And you're definitely connected to somebody spiritually right here. This is beautiful. Letting something, many of my Leos are letting something karmic go. Happy 2019, Leo. Calling in your soulmate. You've absolutely been doing this. You've absolutely been calling in this queen right here. Mm -hmm. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. It's beautiful. Absolutely a beautiful spread. Absolutely a beautiful spread, Leo. One major on top of this for Leo, please. A major for my Leos. It's a beautiful spread. Hangman, we already talked about him. He already showed up one time. Like I said, at this particular point in time right here and right now, probably as you're watching my vid, probably feeling stuck like Chuck in the situation you're in with all that Five of Swords and Five of Cups energy, sleepless nights. Uh, but it's, it's, it's going to change here. I don't know if you pick up the phone or they do. Uh, huh. But somebody's going to communicate. Huh? Somebody's going to communicate. Stuck like Chuck. Hangman, but getting a new perspective about what's going on around you. Absolutely, when many of my Leo friends let go of this toxic energy, which I'm telling you, the universe has been after it for a while here. Um, that something sweet and amazing is going to come in. You already know who they are. You know who they are. And, uh, you know, getting a new perspective about what's going on around you at this particular point in time. All right, let's get something here for Leo. Oh, well, there it is right there. <laughs> this is um, the Fool card. 
Full card showed up here. It's all about new beginnings. <laughs> Fresh starts, leap of faith. This is Uranus. Uh, the planet of sudden, unexpected change, huh? Uh, this is Aries. It's also Aquarius. May mean something to you, may not. Uh, definitely shows my fool up on top of the mountains. Yes, I love him. He just got shot out of the sun right there. He's got his little uh, white flower of childlike innocence about him. His little wand, huh? Yeah, many, like I said, many of my Leos, man, packing the bags. You're just done with it. Heading out, man. I'm gonna Definitely heading out to go catch this queen right here. I love it for you, Leo. This card's all in <laughs> You know, it's all about new beginnings, fresh starts, and leap of faith. I love the Fool card. It's the beginning and the ending of the tarot, and the tarot is also called the Fool's Journey. I love it. Huh? He just got shot out of the sun. He's got his little buddy right there, huh, Leo? Look out! You're going to step off the cliff. See, back here, seven of wands, you know. You don't really care who likes it or who don't like your idea anymore. You don't care. Going to do what's best for you, five swords, right there in the middle of your spread. Look out! Go step off the cliff! Well, the fool's always about It's all right. I was laying on my feet anyway. Okay, sirrah, sirrah. Whatever it'll be, it'll be. Because Geronimo, here I go. It's a nice card of <laughs> taking that leap, huh, Leo? Taking that leap. And the moon wanted to show up one more time right here. And we already talked about that. You know, we got that Leo full moon eclipse coming up right here. Leo, clear this toxic energy out of your world. And go get your amazing queen right here. Go get your ten of pentacles. It's all over the spread. Go get your love. Yeah, get your cycle change right here. Go get it, Leo. You know where it's at. This night, he's been here for a while. He's the only one that ever does cross the finish line. Yeah, beautiful story right here, Leo. <laughs> Let it go. Hope you got something out of this. Namaste. Love and light, my friends. Talk to you soon, Leo. Bye for now.